So let's take a look at this problem that uh, involves the normal distribution. And hopefully it'll uh, serve as reminding you a little bit about how normal distribution questions work. So we can see that we're given a uh, normal distribution. And we're told um, that in this distribution, the mean is 100 centimeters and the standard deviation is five centimeters. So what you're meant to recognize about that is that we know that the mean is always in the center of that distribution. So that means this represents 100. And we also know that the standard deviation uh, being equal to five centimeters is an indication of the spread of this distribution. So in this first part of the question where it asks us to shade the region representing the probability of a value of x being greater than a 105, we can notice that this corresponds with um, being at the mean and one standard deviation above the mean since the standard deviation is 5 centimeters. So this means that uh, 105, which is going to be one standard deviation above the mean, um, is going to be about here. Now, all IB expects you to be able to do is know that uh, the location of one standard deviation is um, about this far away. It shouldn't be way up here. It also really shouldn't be super close to the mean. You should generally know that um, when we're talking about one standard deviation, it's going to be somewhere around here. Um, and so since it then says to shade the region representing P of X being greater than 105, uh, you are just expected to then go on and shade this region right here. Um, so I'm not doing a great job of coloring it, but you get, you get the general idea. So we see that this is a two mark question. One mark is specifically recognizing that this line needs to be to the right um, the, the right of the mean, and it also um, asks, so the, the other mark is for making sure that you shade on the right side of that line, representing um, the probability of x being greater than the 105, and that is one standard deviation above the mean. The next thing says that uh, given that p of x less than d is the same as the probability of x being greater than 105, find the value of d. So find the lower value where the probability of x being below that value is the same as what we found in part a. This question um, is looking to test your knowledge of the symmetry of this graph. Specifically, if we know that the probability of x being greater than 105, we know that that is represented here. We also know that to the same distance to the left, that is one standard deviation to the left of the mean, we would expect the probability to be the same. That is, if we were to shade all of this, this area represents uh, uh, the probability that x is less than um, probability that x is less than one standard deviation below the mean. Um, and this is just from symmetry, knowing that if 105 is the probability we found in part A, that this has to be the mean minus one standard deviation, or 95 for a value there. So our value there is that d is equal to 95. So all we need to recognize to get those two marks on this question is number one, recognizing uh, that this is symmetric, and so therefore this, this probability on this side has to um, be the same as the probability above 105. Um, that, that's what's given. We know that it has to be the same distance away from the mean, and the second mark is for having that value of d equal to 95. The last thing is to recognize that if we are given this value, that is, we are told that the area above 105 represents um, 0 0.16. Um, find the probability that uh, x is between the value you found in b and the value that you found um, then, uh, sorry, the, the probability that x is greater than the 95 that you found here and less than the 105 that we used in part a. So specifically, it's asking us for 
this probability in the middle. And pardon my poor coloring job there, but you know what I mean. So what you are expected to recognize in this is the idea of complementary probability, because we know that all of the area under the normal distribution graph has to add up to 1. So that is the probability that x is less than 95 plus the probability that x is greater than 105 and then plus that probability of the inside area that is that 95 is less than x which is less than 105 all of those probabilities have to add up to 1 which means that if we just want the probability of x being between 95 and 105 we just have to subtract the other two probabilities and we know from um, the information above that this right here is 0 0.16 and from a symmetry standpoint this also has to be 0 0.16 so we're adding those two together adding them in to get the uh, adding those together with the probability that x is between 95 and 105 that all has to add up to 1 which means that if we just want to get this probability here um, in order to find that answer, all we need to do, pardon me, so all we need to do then is just subtract those two values from 1. So 1 minus 0 0.16 minus 0 0.16, and so this is 32. So that means this is 0 0.68. So you get uh, the two marks here are that one is for recognizing the role of complementary probability, and the second mark is just for identifying the actual value of 0 0.68.